So I'm at school and I'm asking some quick questions. What is a dichotomous key? A what? You don't know? A what? A dichotomous key? Is it the spinny thing? Science teachers. No idea. What's a dichotomous key? Uh, I have no clue. I might have been absent in your class with this. A dichotomous key. What? Hi, I'm Carrie Watson. I'm working with an aerospace engineer and some software developers, and I'm the teacher on this flight. So our team chose Woodland Champions, and as we were talking on Zoom, we shared stories about when we went to school and what it was like to work through a project, especially when it came to you know the, the leaf collection, you know that famous poster board. One of my favorite projects in school was going out, collecting leaves, bringing them home, identifying them, pinning them to a board. Now, the worst part of that project was lugging it down to the bus stop, hoping it wouldn't rain. Now, imagine a kid today pulling out their phone, taking a picture of the leaf uh, right there in the forest, identifying it on the spot, pinning it to a digital board to share with a the class, then going deeper, maybe looking at where that tree shows up in history or that type of tree shows up, what medicinal properties might it have, even comparing its genome to its own, to her own. I think that type of augmented interaction with the real world can be quite inspiring. I have a young niece and nephews. As an uncle, I like to share with them my interest in things and try to get them interested in the world around them, in, uh, in nature, in science. But it's not obvious uh, how to do some of those things, engage their curiosity. A number of years ago, I bought a book to try to educate myself on things like trees and be able to identify them. I can't tell you what this is or what this is. So what about an interactive app where it included a, a dichotomous key? So, you know, in today's world of instant gratification, I tell my students that to learn to problem solve, you have to follow a process. So in that process, if you're outside uh, hiking and you see this beautiful tree, try to figure out what it is. So pull up this app, and so you would answer questions. Is it this? Does it have that? Is it this characteristic? Is it that characteristic? And you would follow this pathway to identify that species. And how rewarding would it be to find that out yourself by answering, uh, following through this path? But then once you do determine that, where's the champion? What makes it the champion? My part of the project has mostly been laying out the, the wireframe uh, of the app and some of the structure uh, based on the rest of the team's uh, input and ideas. So every app uh, that, that kids are gonna use needs a fun mascot to interact with. So that's how we came up with Sticky. So to expand the app to the genome, we thought about uh, putting side-by-side -side comparisons, maybe finding a, a similar species or a close cousin, or even a close tree in the forest. Uh, maybe they've identified two trees side-by-side, -side, and once doing so, they can now compare the similarities between them and how much they have in common in their genome. And then we also thought about once you do identify a tree and you want to pin it or add it to your collection, Sticky could reward you a few points for that. So we picked the Meteor stack with React because it allows us to start with a mobile-friendly web page as a prototype and quickly work out what the user experience is going to look like. And then it also gives us the option later on to convert to a native Android or iOS app, which might be required to get access to things like the phones, camera, the GPS, offline storage. I also like that it's built on established widely known technologies like Node.js and MongoDB because those are things that uh, future developers will be able to easily pick up and maintain. This app has so much room to grow, not just the swipe left, swipe right dichotomous key, but finding out where the champion is of that species, pinning it, remembering it, uh, sharing it with others, uh, just discovering the world outside. And I guarantee they will remember dichotomous key. I have a quick question. What is a dichotomous key? I remember that. That's how I identify species. <laughs> you are so awesome. <laughs>